Howdy folks, welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles. This is a player that you have actually seen before. Although you wouldn't be surprised if you didn't remember him. This is Schizo in the M48 pattern, tier 10 match on the cliff map. And the reason you probably wouldn't remember Schizo is that while he has been in a video that I've put up before, he was not the focus of that video. He was platooned up with, I think it was Touch Me Harder, which is a name that you won't forget in a hurry in one of the replays that I featured of his. This time, he's flying solo. Now this is going to be a tough match. XVM rates his team's chances of winning at 43%, which isn't bad, but it just means they're really going to have to work for it. The enemy team do have some of the better players. Um, but what's remarkable is the amount of players on both teams who are either good, very good, or very, very, very good. There are very, very few statistically poor players in this match as a whole. And as is usual, when you get this map, the mediums all rush and are the first to meet each other in the middle. Useful first shot. Oh, and he bounced his return fire, which is always nice. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, well, that was not good. An SU 12254 tier 9 tank destroyer with a tier 10 heavy tank gun. And uh, he definitely got his money's worth out of that shot. But, coming up there to take that shot did cost him half of his health, so definitely not worth it. Angling for another shot there, but he doesn't quite have the line of fire. Climbing for a bit of elevation. Trying to... Oh, he's been spotted. It's been spotted. Get back. Get back. The pattern's armour is barely adequate. Um, it's certainly not something that you should rely on. Nice little side shot into the object 432 there. You can bounce shots in the pattern, we just saw it happening. But it's definitely not something that you should... How can I put this? You shouldn't be driving this tank thinking, well, I'll just angle my armour if I run into... <laughs> no, it's not going to work. Um, this armour is not very good at all. Even the gun mantlet on this tank is unreliable. I've had people put shots right through the gun mantlet on this thing. And, of course, even hold down, well, there's that huge machine gun turret on the top, which is a massive weak spot. Now, this tank is more about the manoeuvrability and the fantastic gun. And, oh, oh, is he stuck? He's driving forwards while looking backwards, which is tricky at the best of times, but when you're navigating... Oh, and he's been spotted! He's been spotted, and he stops to take a shot, and... The oh, he was lucky to get away with that. Oh, well, yeah, if it's stupid, but it works, it ain't stupid. <laughs> turns it around and he's looking for a second shot at those mediums but he's made it to the top of the hill and not before time because the rest of his team down there on the other side of the lighthouse are not having a fantastic time however he was spotted moving up here and there is a conqueror gun carriage in play and you know what that thing's like it doesn't even need to land the shell in the same postcode as you in order to do damage so who on the enemy team is paying attention uh, that would be nobody. Nobody was paying attention to the tier 10 medium tank climbing up the top of the hill. But these are not bad players. Is he going to be able to get away with that twice in a row? Well, he's reloaded. Let us see. No, I don't think he fancies his chances just yet. They're going to be waiting for him to pop out again. That's a much, 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 much better shot. Waffentrager Panzer IV thinks he's in cover behind that rock. Top tip, he isn't. Yep, got him. Good kill. Oh. And there's that SU-12254. Now that guy very wisely fell back after losing almost all of his health, putting one shot into Schizo's tank. And oh, that was uh, interesting. He definitely fired up in Schizo's general direction, but Schizo wasn't spotted. His sixth sense hadn't gone off. And we can confirm that because... There it is. Six cents went off there. So he didn't get spotted until he came over and that other M48 saw him. And he bounced a shot from one of the enemy WZ-11114s. They're really going to have to come up with a name for that tank. <laughs> it's far too much of a mouthful. So there's a tier 9 heavy tank camping at the back there behind the mediums. <laughs> okay. But there's another one over here. And this guy was paying attention to his map the second time around. He saw Schizo get spotted 
up on the top of the hill, he saw him moving back around, and he was waiting for him. But Schizo's tracks ain't the shot. And Schizo sees the opportunity to take out a T110E5, and he's pushing his luck again. He took another hit, which is tracks eight, and the artillery fired at him, but he only took 173 splash damage. He is definitely pushing his luck here. But he's removed a T110E5 from play, and now that T30 badly needs help. Now, he's perched on the edge of this sort of incline here. He can move forward and take shots at that Conqueror, but is he going to be able to get back up? Well, he's decided it's worth the risk. They've just lost the T30. Now, it's a fairly safe bet he's got that Conqueror's undivided attention now. And the Conqueror does have a very nasty 120mm gun. And bang, there we go. Yeah, that was unfortunate. He can pretty much hit the Conqueror anywhere from this superior position. Because he's shooting down into the Conqueror, it negates the thickness of most of the Conqueror's armour. So he's always going to penetrate the Conqueror. But it took him a while to get that second shot off after the Conqueror had hit him. Um, and it's not certain that he's going to be able to beat the Conqueror's reload if he pops out for another shot. So instead he's going looking for another target. And he's rewarded with a kill. On a WZ1111... Seriously, China, this isn't funny anymore. I mean, come up with better names for your tanks. I mean, four ones and a four. I see what you're trying to do, but really, it's not clever. Uh, <laughs> anyway, another kill. Well, looking at the map, it seems that his team have the situation on the corner under control. And oh, there he is. There he is. He is statistically one of the best players on the enemy team. Camping at the back in a heavy tank with 249mm of turret armour. 120mm of hull armour and a 130mm gun. Farming efficiency and WN8 rating while the rest of his team at the front take the hits for him. And you know, it's it's actually quite ironic because that guy was actually doing quite well camping at the back, just farming damage while everybody else went forward to take hits for him. And it, it's the second he actually broke cover and moved forward, he got hammered for it. Which is just going to reinforce his conviction that camping at the back... <laughs> Farming efficiency and WN8 rating is the way to go. Oh well. And he isn't moving from behind that rock. Sorry, Schizo. <laughs> no, he's there to stay. He is not coming out. You're going to have to go elsewhere if you want to get some more damage done. So what's been happening over here? Oh, he's been spotted. Oh, it's the Conqueror. It's the Conqueror. Big gun. Big gun. Back up. Back up. Is the Conqueror alone down there? No. No, there's the E100 as well. Well, the Conqueror is in a very, very vulnerable position and not really able to effectively support the E100 as long as Schizo is on top of this hill. But it seems Schizo doesn't want to take his chances against the Conqueror's 120mm gun just yet. Not that the Conqueror now has confirmed that Schizo is still up here. So he pops out again, and I'm not entirely sure what he thought he was going to hit when he took that shot over there. I mean, that's a well-known camping position. But the only other thing on the enemy team that might be there is the T-30, and he's all the way over on the other end of the map. Oh well, back to the Conqueror. Conqueror's fired at the T-110E5, who's joined Schizo on the top of the hill, alright. Gets to fire with impunity. Scores, does some more damage. But remember, Conqueror gun carriage is still in play as well. It's not the only thing called Conqueror in this game. Yep, yeah, there it is. <laughs> he saw that one coming a mile away. Another shot into the Conqueror and dodges his return fire. That Conqueror has just not had a very good day. And the T110E5 finishes him off. So, well, it's still not over, but it's definitely looking a lot better. So they've got a... there's the M48. Now he's the best remaining player on the enemy team. And that was a good shot. And he has not been spotted. Is he going to be able to... He's getting the hell out of there. He and the T110 both fired. Neither of them managed to hit him. Now that enemy M48 getting away is going to bite Schizo on the arse. Very, very soon. He comes charging down the hill, looking for more things to kill. And he gets spotted. There it is. It's the Object 430 Mark II. So he's looking for a shot. And the M48 puts one into his tracks, which is a kind of good news situation because it didn't actually do any damage, but he's now immobilised and the Conqueror gun carriage does nearly 900 damage to him. Okay, the T110E5 has killed the M48, so he doesn't have to worry about getting sniped from the other side of the map anymore, but he's now on 60 odd health and that Object 432, probably realising that this game's over at this point, just wants a kill, and right now Schizo is it. But, team to the rescue, an ST1 and a T110E4. The Object 430's days are numbered. 
ST1 fires first. There we go. Come on, E4. Finish him off. Yep, that's the T110E4 for you. 300 millimeters of penetration, or as close as, on its main gun. With credit bolt ammunition, but it couldn't hit the side of a barn from the inside. <laughs> it's a terrible, terrible machine. Well, if you want that 430 dead, you're just going to have to do it yourself. So, there we go. There's another kill. And now, the only thing left is the enemy artillery. And pedal to the metal, because we don't want to get hit by artillery. I said we don't want to get hit by artillery, so don't go driving at a rock schizo. <laughs> Stupid place to put a rock anyway. Yeah, I am actually amazed that he didn't get finished off by artillery. Uh, we know artillery was aiming at his location. Artillery just hit him for 900 damage. While he was uh, waiting for his team to come around and save him from the Object 430. But somehow, it seems artillery had better things to do. Um, and the enemy artillery player is pretty good. But judging by the way his shots were hitting, there's only really one place he's going to be. And that's all the way down there in that corner. And now it's just a question to see who's brave enough to risk getting shotgunned by artillery to get the final kill. You'll notice Schizo does not drive through the cap circle on his way over here. There's no point in telegraphing that somebody is coming from this direction. Where it, There he is. Snapshot. Hey, get back, get back, get back. <laughs> is he going to be able to do it again? Somebody just took a shot. Was that odd? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. There we go. Got him. Nicely done, Schizo, in the M48 pattern. So, nice little mastery badge there for Schizo and his M48 on the cliff map. Tier 10 match, obviously it's a tier 10 medium tank, but um, it was a tough match. There were some very, very good players involved in that game. And doing 7,000 damage against that kind of opposition is definitely something to be proud of. Hell, it's almost as much as the next three highest scoring members of his team combined. And it's 2,000 more than the best I've ever managed to do in the M48. So, well played, Schizo. Thanks for sending that one in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.